feel that shuffle nice in there. I didn't study. <laughs> yeah, it actually been working on this project technically since 2006. Just a couple years ago. Four and a half years in the making. No, we did that. Sorry. Seems like once I get off, I have a hard time getting back on. Uh, um, yeah, it was really good through the turnaround. When I go up to the B, I need to punch. That, yeah, yeah. The 16's not coming through as much as the others. I couldn't hear that K at all. Well, I think you hear a little bit picking up out of that Tom mic, but... Which one? The little splash? That K, that 15-inch crash on the left. Yeah, well, I think. yeah, I didn't hear either one of those very well, so I think, yeah. I'd hate to move it right above that. 16. I know, I figured, I thought, I was hoping the hi-hat mic would capture, it would bleed through on those two, but it's really not. I'll just move it down so, maybe a little bit. Yeah, that'll fix it. I don't even hit that cater too much. Oh, okay, no, you're fine. <laughs> you can leave that in there. No. <laughs> Sometimes that leaving that stuff in can really help make a track, but that, not that one. <laughs> A good platform for that, like something like we would call this blues. <laughs> Laughably, use that right. term loosely. Yeah, everybody likes it. I'm 
probably start at the same time, right? Right. Even if it's just a couple Drums of go to the top. Drums go to the top. Right. Sometimes you get what you pay for. Yeah. I guess. No, it's been a real good experience. This is this is pretty cool. I've I've never done anything like this. Really? Yeah. I mean, I've been in some real studios before. Yeah. That weren't basements even. <laughs> it's just the only it's the only I ever did. <laughs> All the better it got. I thought, you know, back then I thought that was the it was shit. Large. <laughs> never, I mean, do you, do, is the studio experience something you want to repeat? Is the you, uh, yeah, I hate playing live. You hate playing live? <laughs> How do you I'll know? I'll do it. How do you know? You've done it twice. Exactly. <laughs> There's a reason for that. I don't mind it, but uh, I'd rather be in a studio. Hey, peoples. Here's the hair block we were using. Bases up here, the keys, drums, guitar, vocals, click, which we didn't run. And this is the limiter for the overall, and there's the overall um, volume. So when you put the headphones on, each person can, you know, if you want more bass, turn to bass. But you can basically make your own mix for the playback on the songs. Now, you ask, you know, why would you need something like that? Well, think about it. Say uh, you got all your cues off the vocals, and you can beef up the vocals. I like let's do a lot of drums and guitar, of course, and then uh, kind of flatten me. I rolled me a little bit over just to make sure, and then the keys weren't here today, but uh, when he plays the playback of the song, uh, you mix that for each track that you want, and worked out real good. These were different than the ones we used when we first came into the studio. Uh, you could, uh, the, had a little bit better sound coming through, had a little preamp that made everything clear and less distorts when you went to turn it up. So this is a really nice addition for the recording in here this time. All right, peace. Anticipating the album? Mm. And half the people I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, if half of them buy a copy will actually be pretty good shape. Might break even. even. <laughs> yeah. I've met a lot of people, um, you know, just kind of giving them little tidbits of some of the scratch tracks. And, Damn you! <laughs> tidbit, just tidbit. I think we all have. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, reaction seems to be pretty good.